Chalayam Devan Velasquez, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, signed the Proclamation No. 622, declaring September 12, 2019 until September 12, 2020 as the centennial year of Philippine cinema. This is in honor of the first Filipino produced and directed full length film entitled Dalagang Bukid by director Jose Nepomuceno way back September 12, 1919. Throughout the years, we have created a lot of films that became the foundation of our diverse cinematic culture. We have mainstream films, independent films, documentaries, experimentals, short films. We have it here in the Philippines. Consequently, just Last month, one of the most recognized film directors of this generation claimed on a public Facebook post that became viral that Philippine cinema is in dire situation and dying. With his actual words, we are on life support and need resuscitation. This is in response to the drastic decrease of people who are going into the cinemas to watch films. And it's true, compared to the previous years, there are a lot of people who tend not to go to the cinemas anymore. And there are a lot of factors why this is happening, such as the emergence of online streaming platforms like Netflix that provides accessibility films, the increase in ticket prices caused by inflation, and the third, the prevalent poverty in the country. Film has become an art form for the elite. Why? Because only those who have around 250 to 300 pesos, roughly around 5 to 6 dollars, could actually watch films and cinemas. And considering the cost of living here in the Philippines, 300 pesos is expensive. This claim of the death of Philippine cinema created a buzz within the industry and prompted the different stakeholders of the community to suggest their solutions to the issue from changing the premiere dates from Wednesdays to Fridays, because here in the Philippines, we premiere films on Wednesdays, and it's in the middle of the week. So they wanted to change it to Friday to avoid the first day, last day scheme, wherein if your films do not get enough sales on the first day, it's going to be its last day as well. Two, actually blaming the filmmakers for not giving much importance to film marketing. But the issue is marketing is that not all filmmakers could actually market their films. Why? Because you have to have money to do that. This is, this is an actual post shared by the Film Development Council of the Philippines, its chairperson and CEO, stating that other films outside of Star Cinema, the big companies, are failing because of unknown tasks of very little marketing. So, I'd like to offer my solution to this issue. I personally believe that the best, most localized and inexpensive way to save the industry is to boost efforts in film literacy programs. So what is film literacy? Film literacy is teaching the audience to become critical of the films that they are watching. It is us giving the audience the power to have critical lens. Why? Because the ruling industry in film are afraid of a critical audience. And the best marketing tool is not other than education. Imagine if we teach the audience how to read films and not just to watch them. If we tell them that they have the power to demand these films, to demand accessibility of these films, then we are saving the industry for another hundred years. In 2015, I created Counter Culture Lab. It is a cultural organization and creative studio based in Manila that focuses on creating films about the Filipino diaspora and providing cultural education and film literacy programs for free to the regions outside Metro Manila and to the marginalized sectors of the country. This is our logo. The idea behind Counter Culture Lab is to bring these complex ideas, concepts and theories of culture, in this case films, closer to the general public with the belief that the best way to empower our local cinematic culture is to bring them closer to the masses. Throughout our travels around the different schools and universities in the Philippines, we've noticed one pressing issue that is common to all. 
and that is, their knowledge of Philippine cinema is limited only to the mainstream and commercial ones. I could say that only two out of 100 students are knowledgeable of our diverse cinematic culture. And this is a very big problem. Why? Because this is the very reason why Philippine cinema is dying. The dominance of one industry over another is killing the industry. What should have been done? Government should intervene. The government has the power to, to create policies for a fair playground for films. But since we still don't have those policies, then this is where film literacy programs become crucial. Throughout my years in the industry, I've figured that there are concerted efforts to push forward Philippine cinema into the international scene. And there is nothing wrong with that. But if the industry is too blinded by international recognition and forgets to bring the films closer to the general public, then the industry is killing itself. I am a researcher of the global cultural, global cultural phenomenon called cultural waves. There are no definitions available online, so I'd like to offer my definition of the term. Cultural wave is a global phenomenon wherein a country's cultural contents, like films, music, fashion, food, etc., spreads globally and advances strategically through the utilization of media, technology, and government policies to promote a country's cultural identity and ideologies in the global competitive cultural landscape. So what's the best example of a cultural wave? The Korean wave, or Hallyu, where in the Koreas were able to recognize their own culture as a nation brand in the global scene. And I've concluded in my research that for a country's culture to be maintain its visibility and recognition in the international scene, the locals of that country must have an understanding and appreciation of their own culture. Because government, the artists, and filmmakers alone cannot sustain it. They need the power of the locals. If we continue to disregard the fact that there are no equal opportunities for films in the country, and that our diverse cinematic cultures do not really reach the Filipino people and not accept the fact that this is currently happening, then we can never move forward from this situation. Philippine cinema needs your support, our support, and by, by that I mean proper support. Bring the films closer to the masses. Teach them of our diverse cinematic culture. Educate them of their power as an audience with a critical lens. One of my close friends in the film industry once told me that a film without a stand would fall, will fall. And I think what she said transcends not just in film, but in life. And I'd like to connect what she said to the current situation of the industry. For it to survive, for Philippine cinema to thrive, filmmakers, artists, government workers, cultural workers, policy makers, Film enthusiasts, media practitioners, the academia, and everyone of us inside this room, let us break the box and make a collective stand.